for some bank employees. Do your homework before you go in, and remember, cash is king. Time to rock. Payday 2 is an incredibly special game. If you haven't played Payday 2, you can't even call yourself a f***ing gamer. Back in 2013, completely different caliber games are coming out. Yet somehow, through all the myths and bullshit, we got one of the most unique shooters we've ever received ever. There is no game like Payday 2. What other game can you rob banks? Probably can't even think of anything on top of your head. You know why? Because there are no other games where you can do that shit. Still to this day, 10 years later, nothing like the experience of Payday 2. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen of the internet? I'm Trey. Welcome back to a brand new video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let's get into this sexy video game. 10 years later, Payday 2 is still proving why it's a timeless game. This game still has crazy numbers on Steam for being so old. It still gets updates and content drops till this day. Why? The developers couldn't get over how much money this game was making. Them. As of 2023, Payday 2 has over 90 heists that you could complete. 90 unique locations, some that have several days, meaning realistically there's over 120 different locations in Payday to heist through. That is an unlimited amount of replayability. Not to mention that all of them have different difficulties, all of them have different objectives and no heist is ever going to be the same. Even when the game first launched, it had over 16 heists to play. Video games today drop with four maps and call it a day. Since release, they've added new skill trees and new ways to customize your own build. It is so rare to ever find two people with the same build in Payday 2. There's so many different skill trees and, and routes and things that you can put your points into that every play style is possible and you can really, really match what you want to do. The game today has so much progression on the outside that if you start Payday in 2023, will literally take you years to unlock everything and finish all that you can. There's weapon progression, skill progression, mass progression, prestige progression, skin progression. You can customize your safe house now. That's right, safe house customization is in the game. But why was a game like Payday 2 so successful? Y yeah, it was unique. Yeah, no other game really had heisting going on, but that wasn't really it. I think Payday 2 was special because of the co-op. This game is meant to be played with friends, and really, that's the only way to do it. Sure, you can have fun solo heisting an impossible mission on Death Wish difficulty, but executing a perfect stealth plan on a crazy difficult heist is such a good feeling. Not getting caught by one person and taking care of all the guards and getting out with with the loot is an unmatched feeling. Payday 2 felt rewarding. Every heist was a challenge, and it was up to you on how you wanted to solve that challenge. This game was never a linear campaign where everything was set up for you. You were dropped in front of the place you were going to rob, and you had to figure that shit out. No guides, no one to help you, just your decision making. That freedom is rare in games these days. Everything is usually scripted or made up, but being able to pre-plan a bank heist or a casino heist or a diamond heist, shit, you can go rob the White House. I mean, where, where hasn't Payday been? Payday 2 separates of stealth and loud also kind of made the game what it is. In many ways, certain maps turned into a completely different game. For example, one of my most favorite heists in Payday 2 to run was Shadow Raid. Shadow Raid was a heist that required you to stay silent. If you got caught by anyone, the raid was automatically done for. It required precision, care. There was no room for error. This feels so fucking different from going into a heist, shooting up the place, dropping civilians on the floor, and fighting off waves and waves and waves of cops. Did you know that Payday 2's engine was used previously for race car games? The engine's dog shit. But somehow that added to the fun, and still does. Feels like you're playing a game that's older, but still polished. And that vibe created some funny moments, some stupid ass moments, and sometimes things just straight up look dumb as hell. But that's what made the game fun. The little bit of jankness actually helped the game. I'd say Payday 2's top 20 most successful Steam games ever. This game has never lost its player count completely, and that's forced the devs to continue developing it. And for a game that was $20 for a majority of that time, gotta give them props. Payday 2's alive and well 10 years later. That's such a feat. It's, it's, un, it's unimaginable. The game's so filled with life, so filled with content, and so filled with a community that still cares for it. Glad that I can truly say that Payday 2 is a legendary video game. The real question, though, that we're all thinking, where is Payday 3? 
Fortunately, Payday 3 has been confirmed in development. Payday 3 is confirmed to be on the Unreal Engine and have at least 24 months of post-game support after it launches. This means that we're in for a next, next gen payday experience. I cannot imagine payday actually being polished down to the last detail. Everything being smooth, clean, the graphics updated, the guns are better. It's almost hard to think about it being in existence, but it's confirmed. There is no release date, but as long as I know it's in development, that, that's good enough for me. Payday 2 will likely live on till Payday 3's release. And when Payday 3 is announced, expect Payday 2's numbers to boost up like crazy. The fan base is still there. Most people have played Payday before, and I cannot wait until that game's release. Guys, I hope you did enjoy this video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me what you think about Payday 2. Without further ado, I'm Trello. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out.